tell us a little bit about how to get prepared for the consular interview. Well, you know, I, I think it's, you know, I, I know from my own experience, just being an immigration officer, um, when, when we prepare people for counselor or, or immigration interviews, the, the, one of the biggest things is, is to show respect for the officer who's inter, interviewing you. So, you know, don't come in a t-shirt or anything like that. Make sure that you dress appropriately. Uh, make sure you bring your paperwork with you. Um, they probably have copies of most of it, but just in case it, it's good to have the interview, the uh, documents with you. Uh, the, I, ha I have the three Schusterman rules, so let me, let me just quickly go through that. We, I mean, we all is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, number one, I mean, this might seem obvious, but number one, tell the truth, okay? Don't, Absolutely. You know, some people, they just get it in their heads that they have to exaggerate certain things or else they won't get the green card. But uh, it's, it's really important not to exaggerate, just to tell the truth as it is. You know, I mean, if you have two years experience, don't try to make it like you have 12 years experience. That's, mm -hmm. it's not gonna get you a green card, but it's gonna, you know, make the officer look at you like, should I believe what this person's saying to me? Mm -hmm. um, number two, recognize, and you know, I, I, I've been out to the embassy in Manila on Rojas Boulevard. I, I, I watch as they're doing these interviews. Uh, they, they have a very, very limited time to do each interview. So don't, my second rule is don't volunteer. Don't start telling them your life story. Just listen to the question very carefully and answer in a sentence or two. You may have more to tell them, but if they really want to know more, they'll ask you a follow-up question. So don't, you know, be mindful of the, their time. Okay. And that's kind of interesting because I think sometimes what happens, I mean, it's an interview. So typically, even if it's a job interview and here it's a consular interview, so it's kind of like a whole nother level, but people tend to get very nervous. And when you get nervous, you start rambling and talking, you know, talking about all different kinds of things. So I think that advice of keeping it one or two sentences, concise, truthful to the point is really good advice. And, and then the third thing, uh, it is super important and a lot of people don't think about it. And that is don't guess. If you're not 100% sure of the answer, just say, you know, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember this. And sometimes I've had, you know, I've had clients where the uh, examiner gets mad. What do you mean you don't remember? Mm. But it's still what they're looking for um, and they deny, uh, deny some cases, um, haven't had a nurse denied, but I've had lots of people come to me on things like marriage cases or mm -hmm. asylum cases. And they said one thing on the application and then they say another thing to the officer because they're nervous and they, they really can't remember, you know, uh, did I meet my husband on a Tuesday or a Monday? You know, it's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I don't know what day I met my wife. I mean, that was over 30 years ago. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, but they're looking for contradictions. And if they if they see that you've contradicted uh, yourself, you could get a denial saying, uh, you know, it's just unbelievable. You said one thing on the application, you said another thing at the interview. Uh, and, and that's the worst thing that you can do at the interview. So read over your application carefully, but remember you're not on jeopardy. You're not gonna win a prize, you know, <laughs> by remembering what day you met your husband or wife or, or, or exactly when you started working for your present employer. Um, and if you can't remember, it's just better to say, I, I'm sorry, I, I, can't, I can't remember what that date was or what that color was or whatever. And you'll be in far better shape than if you make a guess and the guess is not accurate. Hmm. Well, that's, that is really great advice. Very, very valuable. 
Because as I said, I think sometimes when people get nervous, they start to ramble and give all kinds of information that's maybe not relevant, um, but really good, really important to review what you've put onto that application beforehand so that you familiarize yourself and you prepare right. beforehand. 